In this video, we're going to be going through how to add listing types using the My Listing theme, how to create listings, uh, import configuration files, and creating a couple of key pages that are necessary for the whole operation to run. Hey everyone, I'm Donald and I make WordPress video tutorials and if you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Let's go ahead and get started with listing types. So listing types are basically, think of it as an overall category. Uh, underneath the listing tools, we can go to listing types. And from here, we're going to be able to create uh, different listing types. So such as if you're running a, uh, a wedding vendor website, you want to create a, a listing type called vendors. You don't necessarily want to create a listing type for each category of vendors, such as photographer, videographer, venue, things like that. But you want to stick to a more broad scale of the category for listing types. If you're going to go ahead and do something different where you have different types of listings, such as places, and then if you have events as well that you're going to be listing on the same site, then that's where your listing types are going to come in. Places and events where they're not really related, but you want to go ahead and make different listing types out of each of them. And then underneath of each one, you can go ahead and have its own category. Let's go ahead and create a listing type. Let's go ahead and add a new one. And then we're going to type in places. And from here, we have all of our different options. Everything that can be, that needs to be done is all on this one page. Let's go ahead and show you a few of these options right here real quick. So underneath of the general, we have uh, icons, singular name, plural name, things of that nature, packages and reviews. We have all of this information. But right now, we want to go ahead and import an already done configuration uh, for a demo and my listing has been very gracious to give us demos that we can go ahead and import and either a see how they've done it and then we can go ahead and continue to expand upon the ones that they've done or we can go ahead and um, use it as a demo and then we can go ahead and create new ones from scratch based on how they've done it so if we navigate to the help desk section we can go ahead and right click on place listing type and we're going to go ahead and click save as save link as we're going to go ahead and save this in my downloads folder as a JSON and downloads from there we're going to go ahead and go to the import config file which is at the bottom of the listing types page and then we're going to go ahead and click OK which means it's going to overwrite everything that we have on this page so once we go ahead and import that then we can go ahead and see that we've got everything that they have on there so, so we can go ahead and scroll through the packages um, we can add packages here uh, the review settings are also here as well and then we also have the fields that they've had and they've all imported very easily so right there we can go ahead and do that and this is a great way to copy if you have uh, multiple different types of memberships but they all have the same fields but then you just want them to be classified differently. It's a great way for you to export the configuration file here and then just import the configuration file right here. So there's a great way to do a copy and paste for your uh, listing types. Let's go ahead and do a few more options. So right now we have our places listing type. We can go ahead and publish this so it's live. And once this has gone ahead and published, we can go ahead and navigate to a few other options. Let's go ahead and do a few key things. Let's go underneath of theme options and let's navigate under explore. So under here we have a bunch of different options. Default explore listings page. This is important to have because when you're doing a search through one of the shortcuts that we're going to show you how to create later, this is where it's going to basically show you. So right here. So let's go ahead and create our explore page so we'll go to explore and we'll type in the explorer right there and we're gonna hit publish from there we're gonna go ahead and go back to our theme options and then under theme options we also have the theme options here and we're gonna click explore we can show the total amount of listings to show on uh, for the search uh, and then we have a few other options here that we'll get into at later times. 
So from here, we can go ahead and navigate to our explore page. And let's go ahead and hit explore. And we're going to click edit with Elementor. On here, we let's go ahead and search for the Explorer. So Explorer listings, we're going to click and drag this right in here. And we have our three columns set up right here. So let's go ahead and, and fix these up. On the section, we're going to go ahead and edit this so that it's full width. And our, our um, columns gap are going to be no gap at all because we just want this to be full width and height there. From here, we can go ahead and click back onto the Explore Listings widget, and we can change a few different options. What are you looking for? Uh, select or, or search uh, with categories. We can change that. And then we can do which uh, filter is active. We can choose filters, types, or categories. If you're going to go ahead and have more than one filter, or I'm sorry, more than one type, more than one category, we can go ahead and choose those. Templates, we could choose template one, template two, which is just a single column or template three, which is just the listings themselves. And then we also have the option to add our listing types. So from here, we can go ahead and click on this, select a listing type and hit places. So from there, it brings up the form that we automatically imported with our listing configuration file. And I'll show you guys how to change this up in just a bit. So from here, we can go there and then we have all of these different options for categories tab which is right here how many we want underneath of it uh, how do we want to order this and things of that nature so we can go ahead and add those options right there let's click update and we're going to go ahead and navigation back to our dashboard right here so from there we're going to go ahead and create a listing itself so let's go ahead and add a new listing just so we have a demo to search for. Uh, and we're gonna name this testing place. Select a listing type of places. And we're going to go ahead and click publish. So now that we've gone ahead and we've got our testing place, we can go ahead and fill this in with some information that we want to show on the front end. So we can go ahead and do this. So now that we've gone ahead and we've updated all of our information on our listing, we're going to go ahead and add a few things. So right now we have our theme options and we have the explore page set to explore. We've gone ahead and we've added our explore page right here. And from here you can see the explore page perfectly right here. And now we want to go ahead and change up a few things. Underneath of the listing tools and listing types, we want to go ahead back to places. And from here, if we go to search forms, we can actually change what we want to appear. So we have advanced form, basic forms are right here. So the basic form, the advanced form is going to be the one that is on the explore page. And then the basic form is going to be the one that we add using a short code. And let's go ahead and create that now. Under theme options, we're going to go ahead to short codes. From there, we're going to go to search form and we're going to click on listing types places. Uh, on the layout, let's do wide or tall. It just depends on however you want it to be on your site. And light, dark, or transparent tabs. Again, this is however you want it to be on your site. If we want to align the, uh, the entire search form center, left or right, we can go ahead and choose those. And if we want there to be a box shadow, we can go ahead and add that. For the search page ID, if we want this to be something different than the explore page, then we can choose it here. But if we want it to be the explore page that we just created, you could just leave this blank. So from here, let's go ahead and copy this. And we're going to go ahead and create a new page that's going to be our home page. So let's go ahead and make a home page here and publish this. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and edit, the, edit this with Elementor. And we're going to go ahead and style this up to be um, pretty similar to the demos that you have seen. So from here, we're going to go ahead and add our new section. And we're going to go ahead and add a column. Let's make this full height. Fit the screen. Let's add a background to this so we can go ahead and see our short code. 
and then from there we're going to go ahead and type in featured section click and drag that into it and then we're going to go ahead and copy and paste our short code so from here we have our short code we have the places which is a light tab we have everything centered and then we have a slight box shadow behind everything let's go ahead and update this and we're going to go ahead and preview our section here on our page once this loads we have the what are you looking for and we have the all categories right here and then the search button which if you can remember when we go to our listing types and then we go to places we have the search forms here and then the basic form so we have what are you looking for and then all categories so the basic form appears when you are editing the um, short code form that you have created using the short code builder on the theme options section of the website so we have this here as well what are you looking for in all categories we can go ahead and change those up here if you want so search we can make that like this click update and then from there we can go ahead and, and refresh and you'll see that it changes it right here on the explore page we can go ahead and click on that and you'll see that we have the section for the advanced form so we have all this advanced form sections right here which if you navigate back to the search forms and advanced form we have the what are you looking at categories where to look proximity tags and region and we have all of those options here so for some reason if we don't want region or tags we can go ahead and get rid of those update that and from there we'll go ahead and refresh this page and it go, went ahead and got rid of those because maybe we don't need those anymore. So we've gone ahead and got rid of those options for searching. From there, you can go ahead and expand your search forms to be more advanced or more basic, depending on how you want. You can create as many short codes for search as you want if you uh, want to go ahead and add those to your site. Let's go back to the home page real quick. So you can create as many of these as you want and place them all over your site so that your users have a way to go ahead and search your site for um, certain parts of your listings or they can go ahead and customize this however you want it to be. I hope you guys find the video useful. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos and we'll see you guys next time.